they are now with 138 left and a touchdown, they win the game. They didn't turn it over. Also very important. And you know, the 49ers, it's amazing. They've had like 425 yards. They haven't had a penalty all day. Now that's amazing. They haven't had a turnover and they could still lose this game. Today's game was produced by Bob Stinner, directed by Sandy Grossman. Coordinating producer of the NFL today is Eric Mann. The NFL today directed by Duke Strzok. The senior producer of the NFL on CBS is Ed Gorin. Now they have some weapons down here because they've already established that Keith Byers can get him in the end zone. You know that Fred Barnett can get him in the end zone. And on this drive, they added that next dimension, Randall Cunningham are running with the ball. A minute and 40 seconds left to play. Both teams with two timeouts left. Cunningham back to throw. Sherman might have been the intended receiver, but it was well over his head. Yeah, did you see John Johnson yes. over there? He's putting his hands out that he didn't do it. But what did he put a hit on <laughs> Sherman? And the ball was in the air. Now the officials have to say that the ball couldn't have been caught. Still hurts. But I tell you, John Johnson <laughs> hit Heath Sherman when the ball was in the air. Second down at 10 at the 49er 21. Closer to the 20. Williams is a man in motion. Cunningham gets it up the middle to Walker. Walker knocked backwards by Mike Walter. And the clock continues to run. A minute 20. They have two timeouts left. You know, this is a tough thing here with the with the time, you know, because they need a touchdown to win the game. But if you don't get the touchdown, you'd like to be able to get the ball back quickly. So you want to take the time if you're going to score the touchdown. Four wide receivers and Byers in the backfield. Watch him. Byers sneaked up the middle. Cunningham is down. Sack. Martin Harrison. The first man there joined by Tim Harris and Dennis Brown. This is a coverage sack here, Pat. You're going to see Martin Harrison coming from this right side. You see Cunningham went to throw it. He went to throw the ball. Harrison's going to come from this bottom side here. Now, if you watch, you see this is all covered here. Very good coverage because Cunningham goes to throw it right there. You see, then he stopped and he pulled it back because he saw the coverage here and here. Then he pulled it down. And then by the time he put it back under, then he was sacked by Martin Harrison. The Eagles take a timeout. They have one left. They have 53 seconds left. And you know that 49er defense have always talked about, you know, the Houston pass defense and, and all that stuff. But that third down pass coverage there was excellent. That was not a sack by the line, but that was a coverage sack. Because Cunningham went to throw it once, and he had to pull it back. Fourth and 15. Back at the 26-yard line. Cunningham goes out of the shotgun formation this time. He has time. To Calvin Williams. Continues to run. That's close to a first down. It is very close. I think that is a first down. I think that's a catch unless they get a bad spot. Cunningham is saying it's a first down. He's arguing. I think it he's is arguing a catch. the spot. It is a catch. It's going to be close. Well, you see Calvin Williams make the catch here. He, he took it catch. right away from the defender. And then the ball is right there just on this side of the line. It is going to be close. They got it. They got the first down. Oh, they did it. No, they didn't get it. He just 
this and wow. The Eagles signal first down. Let's see if we can get another look at how close. Well, if you look at where, where the ball has to come, it, it just has to come. If we can stop it right here, we can see here's the marker right here. So he has to get the ball to that marker. Now, again, he catches the ball, and then where do they spot it? It looks like to me that the ball is just this side of the line. But the thing is, there's no official there on the play. The right. official came in later, and then I always said it's where they put their foot. I think the 49ers won that game by a spot. A flag on the play, and another look. It was a heck of a reception. You know, and then where they put the ball. See, it looks like the ball is just this side of the line. And it wasn't even inches that they lost that by, that they didn't get that spot by. Boom. Too many men on the field, defense. 12 men on the field, penalized five yards. First down. That's some of the good news there. The, the 49ers, with this win, have guaranteed themselves a place in the playoffs. Oh, so close for the Eagles to that first down. I don't know what more you can do. I mean, Randall Cunningham made a heck of a throw on fourth down. And a heck of a catch. Calvin Williams made a heck of a catch. And I think they got a bad spot. I mean, I looked at it, and... The thing is, they had it. to me, the officials didn't hustle because there was no, there was no official within that picture that could have spotted that ball. And when he got down there, how does he know where to put his foot? Uh, very disappointed and discouraged, Randall Cunningham coming up. Don't forget, Greg and Terry with all the scores and highlights from around the league. Rich Kotite. Seconds still showing on the game clock. 20 to 14. The 49ers with this victory will clinch a spot in the playoffs. I think, you know, the 49ers are going to be in the playoffs, uh, you know, home field maybe throughout. But these Eagles don't count them out of it. They're going to be in the playoffs too. Stay tuned for the NFL Today postgame show. Greg and Terry will have all the latest scores and information. You're watching CBS Sports coverage of the National Football League. Stadium in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, where the Eagles take on the Minnesota Vikings this afternoon. It's a Minnesota team that has played well on the road. They've won five, but a Philadelphia team that has not been beaten at home this year. Could be a big day for the Vikings with a victory or a Green Bay loss. They can sense the Central Division Championship this afternoon. Hello once again, everybody. I'm Vern Lundquist along with Dan Fouts. It could be a very big day for Minnesota, but there is, Dan, a sense of urgency for the Philadelphia Eagles. They come in 7-5. and five. Well, they know they cannot afford to lose another game because last year they lost six and didn't make the playoffs. Reggie White told us it's up to that defense, though, to get them back that feeling they had when they were 4-0 to begin the year and they were considered the best team in football. Well, they will go up against Sean Salisbury, who makes his second start. He's the offensive leader today for Minnesota, but it's been a Viking defense as well that has led the way to their 9-3 mark. Well, their ability to turn turnovers into points, led by the front four of Al Noga and uh, Chris Dolman, Henry Thomas, and John Randall, uh, they should put a lot of pressure on Randall Cunningham. 